Our latest work describes the discovery that a new formulation, the widely used molecule vitamin D, is able to interact and unlock a new pathway for the treatment and potentially the cure of pancreatic cancer. So when we look at pancreatic cancer under the microscope, we see a combination of cancer cells themselves and a dramatic wound healing response that surrounds it. We discovered vitamin D and synthetic vitamin D analogs that were able to crank down this wound healing response and found out that by treating with vitamin D analog plus chemotherapy, we were able to augment the effects compared to chemotherapy alone. Vitamin D itself is not attacking the cancer cells. It's, it's, it's changing the environment to a more favorable uh, setting for the chemotherapy drugs to work. You cannot activate this with the normal vitamin D that you would take uh, in a supplement or in fish oil, but rather a special form that we deliver directly into the person and allow the tumor to be exposed. One way you can think about it is that the tumor is like money locked inside a bank vault. You can't get to it unless you know the code. The therapy that we develop is not to the tumor inside the vault, it's to the code that unlocks the door, that allows then the chemotherapy to go in and cure the tumor. Part of this work emerged out of working with Stand Up to Cancer. And with that alliance, we've been able to not only make the new discoveries, but actually transition this therapy into patients. This study has gone straight into a clinical trial. You rapidly have gone to a certain idea in the lab that's gone straight into the clinical setting. And we hope from here we will look at other cancers that are, that are fibrotic. The cells that we found in the pancreas that respond to vitamin D have cousins in other tissues like the liver, the kidney, and the colon. And so we're interested in whether the response we see in pancreas might be relevant in other tumor types as well. This is a new way to attack cancers and opens up an entirely new opportunity for treatment. In the end, this is about the patient. We are doing science to both understand but also to give hope. The science starts here at the salt with asking the most fundamental questions. That in turn yields to fundamental answers and that in turn yields new ways to treat the disease.